just take about the issue of global security and conflict resolution, which I think is the one which concerns me most in this moment. I think uh, I, in, in the session where Jerry Jacobos was talking about uh, global security is put correctly at the center of our concern. We need to have global security. Global security is uh, is uh, fa is an, in antithesis with the, with the development of conflict. So global security means essentially conflict resolution. Conflicts are motivated by several facts: difference in religion, diff ethnic difference, language differences, and uh, I would say economic problems are in a layer which is further, I mean, it's less important. I think the identification of people in terms of nationality, religion, ethnic, uh, and uh, languages is more important in terms of creating conflicts and in opposing a solution of this conflict. Economic arguments are important too, but are not, are not the determinant one. As much as the war is not determined by the the arms control, sorry, the arms producer, war is determined by antagonism between groups. So we have to solve this. And what is the role of nuclear weapons in all of this? On one sense, nuclear weapons are preventing uh, some specific war activities, namely between countries that possess nuclear weapons. And that's important up to now. But on the other side, they increase the risk. So if war happens between countries that possess nuclear weapons, then we are going to be finished. And that should be very clear. You see, we have three problems for mankind, main problems for mankind. One is nuclear weapons. The other one is global uh, warming, warm, global warming, which I think is affected, but is very slowly. And the other one is pandemics. So we have seen some of them. If we have a pandemic which will destroy our capability of resist to virus or whatever it is, then we are going to be very strongly diminished in terms of mankind. Nuclear weapons is the one which I deal with. And uh, if you want, nuclear weapons as playing a role in terms of preventing certain kind of activities, but it's also increasing the risk, as we said before. And we have to be very careful and make conflict resolution as a key issue for international policy in terms of preventing conflict which can have catastrophic events. And this is why when we have a situation like the one in Ukraine or other countries, but Ukraine is the one, we have to facilitate conflict resolution no matter what. It's not an issue of who is right, who is wrong. We have to focus on conflict resolution. And if, if, if people don't do that, if, if the countries or don't do that, then they, they should be reprimanded, so to say, or they should encourage to promote conflict resolution. Uh, and then you see, uh, one other aspect of conflict is that they tend to be solved very slowly. I mean, we have a, a problem like, uh, Palestine, which has been around for 70 years. And uh, all the problems are around since a long period. So we have to, on one side, accept the, the fact that conflicts can last longer. On the other side, we should be focused on, we should focus on working irrespective of the length of the conflict. So we have not to give up at all. We have to promote conflict resolution, however, in whatever situation, and no matter what the difficulty is. That's something which is very important. And I think that um, uh, we are witnessing a very dangerous environment. We should talk with everybody. We should stop blaming only one uh, of the uh, group which is active in, in a conflict and try to solve understanding the motivation of all the parties in the conflict and try to solve the issue. It is something which we, we are legitimate in saying that someone is more right than the other, or that someone is more wrong than the other. But nevertheless, if you want to avoid 
serious conflict, we have to take into consideration all the motivation and try to work in the direction of solving the problem. Not easy, but that's what we should do now. And this is what we have been learning from the issue of Ukraine.